Today we're going to take a look at the SanDisk Extreme Pro SDXC UHS-1 cards. These cards are great for recording 4K footage on 8-bit cameras like the Sony a7 III or a7R III. They're also a fantastic value for photographers. When you unbox the SD card, you'll get the card in a little protective plastic case. So these cards are just UHS-1. The V30 rating on it is the highest rating that a UHS-1 memory card can get. And the 200 megabytes per second is the fastest speed a memory card like this could achieve without being UHS-2. Anytime you get new memory cards, your camera will need to do some sort of setup on them. And I also recommend going into your camera menu and finding the format setting and formatting both memory cards. Now I have my camera set up to dual recording, so it would write to both cards at the same time. So using the highest 4K30 speeds on the a7 III, I can get two hours and 44 minutes on the 128 gigabyte card. I can get five hours and 28 minutes of recording time on the 256 gigabyte card. If we switch over to raw photo mode, it says I can hold 4,997 raw images on the 128 gigabyte card and 9,952 raw images on the 256 gigabyte card. And if we switch to the high plus shooting, On the a7 III, I was able to just write a bunch of shots, and it's going to take a little bit for it to buffer, but no problems there. Recording some footage. And when you stop recording, it'll take you just a second to buffer. Always make sure that your buffering is done before you shut the camera off if you want to avoid any corrupt files. Now these cards say they support speeds up to 200 megabytes per second. But when you look closely at the box, you see it says compatible with SanDisk Professional Pro Reader SD and Micro SD to achieve stated read speeds. After reading the back some more, you see they only support write up to 90 megabytes per second, and the read is simply up to 200 megabytes per second. So if you're using a built-in card reader on a MacBook Pro or something like that, you're going to get much slower speeds than 200 megabytes per second. This is something I never realized until I just bought a few more of these cards. So after doing my tests, we got nowhere close to the advertised speeds. I think it's important to note that a lot of the advertisement for hard drives and SD cards is just simply fluffing the numbers a little bit or putting things in the ideal setup in an ideal world. If you want to get the fastest speeds possible out of an SD card, you're going to need to buy SanDisk's Special Reader or you're going to need to spend extra money to buy UHS-2 cards that can go quite a bit faster on average. At the end of the day, th these cards are a great value for what they are. They're not the fastest in the world, but they're going to let you record 4K footage on a lot of different cameras. Please make sure you check with your camera manufacturer for their recommended SD cards and speeds before purchasing any memory cards. But as for me, I've been using these on the Sony a7 III and a7R III for years now, and I've never had any issues. I've been very satisfied with them for both photo and video. Thanks for watching this video. If you found value in this content, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel as I have plenty more great content planned with other camera gear and technology.